Let's introduce the two candidates. The order in which they are standing and speaking was determined earlier today by a coin toss. We welcome the city controller of New York, William Thompson. Also welcome now the mayor of the city of New York, Michael Bloomberg. We begin now with one minute opening statements and we start with you, Mayor Bloomberg. Well, first let me start by thanking our hosts for uh, sponsoring this debate. And then we also. Voted for term okay. okay. Hold on one second, please, Mr. Mayor. While while that situation, just please hold on. Just please hold on one second, candidates. While that situation is dealt with, we'll get to it in just one second. Just please, if I could ask the audience. Uh, the mayor has agreed to appear here tonight, so has Mr. Thompson, and I, I really believe that we should all be respectful of the mayor and Mr. Thompson in this debate. And so, and so, Mr. Mayor, I apologize for that. Please start your opening Not statement. a problem. It is New York. <laughs> Let me... Uh... Let me first thank our hosts and sponsors, particularly El Museo del Barrio, por su hospitalidad. Um, you know, we all know we are going through some tough times here. In the morning, when I take the subway, I hear it in the diners, on the streets. People are worried. People are worried about how they're going to pay the rent, how they're going to pay their mortgage, um, whether they're going to keep their jobs, whether their kids are going to get jobs. Now, we came out of a situation similar to this back in 2001, after the terrible tragedy of 9-11. And I know we can do it again. We did it then by coming together. We did it then by focusing on what's right and not looking at special interest needs. And if we pull ourselves together, we can do it another time. Today, the key is to focus on what will make this city better. Today, the key is to pull together. Today, the key is to improve education and build affordable housing. We've come too far. We brought crime down to record lows. Now is not the time to stop. And I think if we don't bow to partisan politics and to special interests, the best days for New York are ahead. And I'd appreciate everybody's consideration November 3rd at the voting booth. Thank you, Mr. Bloomberg. And now we turn to you, City Controller Bill Thompson. Buenas noches a todos. Uh, good evening, Dominic, to you, to the panel, to New York One, and uh, to the Campaign Finance Board. Thank you for the opportunity to have this debate tonight. I'm excited by the prospect of debating my Republican opponent face to face the way that it should be. I am disappointed, though, that. Mike, you've chosen to spend close to $200 million to distort my record and to be able to rewrite history. You know, I've opposed tax increases, rent increases. I've opposed your MTA increases. But still, as mayor, I believe that I would lead New York City to different areas, areas of affordability, focus on the middle class and working New Yorkers. I think that's important. But the issue in this campaign is can the richest man in New York City play by his own set of rules while the rest of us play by another set of rules? We voted for term limits overwhelmingly twice. New Yorkers are going to have to make a decision in November. Voters are going to have to decide whether one person and one person alone can undermine term limits for their own self-interest. I want to be a mayor for all New Yorkers. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. And so I will begin tonight with the first question. 
And it sort of deals with what you just brought up, Mr. Thompson. Over the last few weeks, and this is for you, Mr. Mayor, it starts with you, but it's for both of you, actually. The tone of this campaign has turned increasingly negative. Mr. Mayor, your campaign mailings and television ads attack your opponent, something that, for the most part, you avoided doing in your re-election campaign four years ago. Mr. Thompson, your most recent ads have focused on the mayor attacking him, and you recently likened Mr. Bloomberg to former President George W. Bush. For you to become mayor, don't you have to, don't voters have to learn to like you and not just dislike the mayor? And for you, Mr. Mayor, starting with you, why are you spending so much money attacking Mr. Thompson? Well, I'm not attacking Mr. Thompson. I'm trying to set the record straight. I'm trying to tell the people what we've done and to correct the statements of my opponent when he puts out statements that aren't correct. You know, that's what campaigns are all about. Campaigns are about trying to show the difference between the two candidates that the voters are going to have to choose from when they get to the polls. We can look at the records in the past and we can look at our proposals for the future. When you try to compare the records in the past, you look for things where you've both done similar things. And there's one obvious one. Uh, my opponent ran the Department of Education, the old Board of Education for the 90s, and uh, I arguably have run it since 2002. Uh, when he ran the Board of Education, schools were much more violent. Uh, graduation rates were 50 uh, percent or below. Test scores were much lower than they are today, and in fact, uh, there were groups that always tested poorly and nobody tried to do anything about it. That's his record, and you can compare it to what we've done where the schools are safer and there's less disruption in the class and test scores are better and we're able to attract lots of good teachers and we've built a lot of classroom spaces and reduced the cost of construction. I think it's fair to say that people understand today the schools are a lot better than they were before, and if you're going to look to the future, Comparing what we've both done and the same thing in the past is as good a way as to do it as any. That's what a campaign is about, and that's what advertising is about, and that's what the debate is about. Thank you, Mr. Bloomberg. Mr. Thompson. Well, Dominic, I think that I've spent my time campaigning trying to point out the legitimate differences between Mike Bloomberg and myself. That's what I've attempted to do. The mayor has spent an obscene amount of money to distort my record, and to try and rewrite history. The truth is, when you start to look at so many instances, the Department of Education, it's ironic that the mayor would talk about the education system in the past, if only because he talked about mayoral control, because he pointed out under the old Board of Education, no one was in charge. The mayor, the board, the chancellor, so many people were in charge. No one was in charge. So it's ironic that he would try and distort facts and information, try and change the past to say that I was the person who was in charge of the Department of Education or the Board of Education. Nothing could be further from the truth. And it is unfortunate that the mayor has attempted to spend this kind of money to distort my record and really to, to, to attack my integrity. Mr. Mayor? If he believes nobody was in charge, why didn't he try to get control? The bottom line is, he did help us get mayoral control, which he was against and then said he was in favor, but it really didn't have any control the way he wanted to do it. But we got mayoral control as much because when he ran it, the schools were terrible. And the public and the legislature said, no mas, we're going to finally fix this system. And that's how mayoral control got enacted. And if he wants to walk away from what he did, the bottom line is, the schools were much worse then. It was a failing school system. Mr. Thompson, I'm going to let you respond. In one second, we're going to Brian Lair. But can you say here tonight, and I know that you were not the chancellor, but the bottom line, during your tenure at the Board of Education, can you say that you did a better job of running the school system than Mike Bloomberg? Again, Dominic, I didn't run the school system. If I was the mayor and had the $20 billion that the mayor has right now to run the school system and had mayoral control, I would do a better job. It is as simple as that. So let's start talking about reality, Dominic. This apples to oranges comparison isn't realistic. But, but does your record, does your record at the Board of Ed compare to Bloomberg's record Dominic, at the Board of my Ed? My record at the Board of Education was described by the New York Times as a reformer. 
I led a reform effort there. I helped to end decentralization, putting someone in charge for the first time in decades. I helped to move math scores up and increase reading scores. Did I do a good job? Is it a record that I am proud of? Yes. At the same point, it is an apples to oranges comparison and one that the mayor likes to make because it really isn't accurate. 